What's up, Ravens? Welcome to this Wednesday's edition of ONW Now. I'm Cami Gibson, alongside Isabel Lobby. Today we have a feature story on a teacher, Game Day Northwest, and a guest from the math team. Let's get started. that there's a former student who's actually a teacher here at ONW? That's right, the teacher is Brittany Myers. Sean McPartland has the story. The original Raven Club's an exclusive one. Miss Meyer was in one of the first classes of Northwest, and after working in the graphic design industry, she has returned as a teacher. I just really loved being in this building, and I liked working with this age group, and kind of found myself going, well, if I love being here, why am I doing something else? So I kind of transitioned myself over time to come here. Miss Meyer balances teaching freshman e-communication, yearbook, and is a cheerleading coach. I was used to walking these halls as a student, and um, so the first couple days were definitely different, but um, I love it. Like I, I feel like I have the upper hand in some way because I already know the people I work with. I know this building, and it's um, really dear to my heart. After her first year, Miss Meyer is looking forward to her future. I hope students love my class and like being around me. I hope I can grow in relationships with people. For ONW Now, this has been Sean McPartland. Now back to the desk. Now let's take it to Joe and Connor with Game Day Northwest. <laughs> What's up, Ravens? Welcome to this Wednesday's edition of Game Day Northwest. I'm Joe Kaliga alongside Connor Gertis. Today we have a recap of golf and track, a feature story on a senior swimmer, and an interview with a junior tennis player. Last Friday, the Raven track team traveled to Gardner Egerton to take on the Blazers. Luis Ruiz was there with the story. The track team came out of the blocks red hot on Friday, the boys taking first overall and the girls third. Another school record was broken on Friday by Alec Jordan and pole vault. The Ravens took first in multiple events. Brittany Watkins in long and triple jump, Sam Howe, Sam Thomas, and Delaney Schaefer all took first in their events. And many more finished first. The Ravens are a strong competition and are the team to beat for each meet, and they are setting the bar high for state. This has been Luis Ruiz, now back to the desk. The boys' golf team looked to continue their successful season last Wednesday. Joe Kaliga has the recap. The Olathe Northwest men's golf team has continued to stride through the end of the season. Last Wednesday, they faced off against Sunflower League powerhouse Shawnee Mission East at Tomahawk Hills Golf Course. This head-to-head -head matchup was Ryder Cup formatted, meaning each group of four contests with two-man teams from each school. The school with the most points comes out on top. Alex, Tracy, and Tyler Grigg took down the Shawnee Mission East number one team, while Brett Sanford and Ryan Lynch beat the number two team. Carson Daniel and Jackson Wexler have the round with the Shawnee Mission East number three team, resulting in a dominant day for Olathe Northwest. Tomorrow, the Ravens will travel to St. Andrews to face off against crosstown rival Olathe East. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Joe Kaliga. Now back to the studio. Now let's take it to Brennan Wolford, Jesse Payne, and Kyle Potasnik for a special story on a senior swimmer, Caitlin Palasic. Caitlin Palasic, a four-year swimmer for the Olathe Northwest Ravens swim team, provides a huge role as one of the two seniors on the team. She inspires the team to always keep their heads above water. All the seniors, the few of us that there are, kind of play a leadership role in just trying to get the team excited about everything and trying to make sure everyone gets along, but we have such a great group of girls, so it's not hard. And their inspiration to push Caitlin to continue to improve. Um, I really love my teammates and my coaches. They're all really, really supportive, and we all cheer for each other at meets, and it's a really family-like environment to be in. She has some thoughtful and inspiring words for the rest of the team. To stick with it and just to try your hardest because it's so important. The friendships you make will last throughout all four years and probably longer. And the work ethic you learn from our coaches and just everyone surrounding you every day is just amazing and it's so important for your future endeavors. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Brennan Wolford. 
Now, back to the studio. I'm now here with Thompson Tong, a junior on the ONW tennis team. So Thompson, how has the team done so far this season? The team's done great. We've had some pretty great wins and everyone's just having a great time. That's awesome. So last week, uh, the team beat Shawnee Mission East for the first time ever in league uh, history in the last 27 years. How did that feel? It was an incredible moment. The coach was crying. Everyone was just so hype. It was... Uh, so what's coming up for the team as you finish the season? Well, we're hoping to win state because Shawnee Mission East just lost to us. But other than that... Okay. So well, that's all we have for you today, Ravens. Uh, for Connor Gertis, this has been Joe Kaliga. Now back to the desk. I'm now here with Melanie Hiraki, who is a member of the math team at ONW. So Melanie, explain what a competition looks like. Well, in a normal competition, you have both individual and team competitions, and within those competitions, there are many categories such as algebra, geometry, stats, calculus, programming. Okay, cool. When do you guys meet, and how can students join? Um, we don't meet that often for practices, but we do have a competition today after school at North. And um, if you want to join, just go talk to Ms. Burbridge in the math hall, and she'll just get you in. Awesome. Okay. Now we're going to put you to the test. We've given you a whiteboard, and now we're going to see how fast you can answer this question. A machinist runs a machine to make bolts. She earns $0.05 a bolt. She earns an average of $360 in five days. On average, how many bolts did she make per day? Oh my gosh. So the correct answer is B. That's really impressive. Thanks, Melanie. That's all we have for you today, Ravens. For Isabel Lobby, this has been Cami Gibson. Have a great week, Ravens.